Yo, birthday boy! Yo, what up? Are you ready for the fucking craziest thing no, in your life? Yo, white dragon! 375,000! What? Pick a pick a pick a pick a pick a pick The restaurant where we used to work together, what do we used to do? We used to do it. This guy would beat me and my boy by himself with a fucking, with a U.A. deck. <laughs> The three of us are gonna pull three girls tonight. Yes. I'm not gonna do a single word. Yeah, yeah, she's straight to bed. <laughs> <laughs> we should be coming in. Right? Each other. So hold on, instead of circle drinking each other, are you down me and you find some milks right now? No. <laughs> Sadly, no milks were found. But you want to know what was found? An absolutely sick time with the homies. I want to give a massive shout out to Harris, whose birthday it was. That's my fucking dog. Sick ass time. Happy birthday, my boy Harris. I hope you guys enjoyed this style of video. I wanted to show you guys that, you know what, it's cool. You can play Yu-Gi-Oh! and still have a fun time. You can go out and actually have a life. You can hit the gym, you can do all this. Don't just be sitting down at, in your smelly ass locals playing Yu-Gi-Oh all day. Get a, you know, have a little bit of a life, guys. It's all, you could you could do everything. But with that being said, there's another surprise, and that's what's a Yu-Gi-Oh video without some fucking Yu-Gi-Oh, baby. Let's go. I'm gonna reward everyone who stayed up until this point with some Yu-Gi-Oh. I'll be revealing you guys right now the end, to end off this video my Pendulum combo with Pendulum Sword Soul six seven interruption combo, which is absolutely broken. And comment down below as well if you guys want to see more party vlogs like this. So hope you guys enjoy the party part. Now it's time for the Yu-Gi-Oh part. Pendulum Sword Soul combo, seven negates. Let's go. It is time to show you guys the most insane Pendulum combo for the 2022 format on the most insane playmat in the planet. Make sure to check out your LH playmats on TriffGaming.com. There is about 30 left. Everyone who ordered an LH playmat has been sent few days ago others obviously earlier and will be there very soon i do apologize for the wait for everyone who did order lh playmat there was a pre-order predicament but it's all good now and expect it any day let us proceed baby pendulum combo pendulum sword soul let's go so as you see here this is our hand it looks pretty good every hand is the same it doesn't matter what hand you start off with every hand does the exact same thing at the end and there's a specific combo that you want to do with all of them first things first we are not trying to lose to a nibiru so what we're going to do here is we're going to activate sword soul emergence to search out mo ye oh yes and as you see here i will be doing a deck profile on this deck uh very yeah, you guys can't see it now you guys, you guys can't look at the deck profile now but i will be doing a whole video based on the deck profile as well as a lot of information this is a bonus video that i wanted to add at the end of our party with my boy 
uh for my boy's birthday so let's go so we're gonna reveal the emergence this was special a token the moye and the token will then go into shishao the idea of this is very simple so we're gonna go shishao we're gonna draw it doesn't matter what we draw here i'm gonna go chain link two moye chain link one shishao uh, i mean this was bad for us to draw to be honest and then the effect of that will get us long yuan and then with long yuan what we're gonna do here is quite simple so we're gonna find our long yuan playing one ofs in this deck is tough to find uh, and then we're gonna go long yuan effect okay so we're going to discard the emergence and we're gonna special the long yuan okay long yuan effect will special the token at this point if my opponent wants to nibiru me be my guest it doesn't alter anything we don't care but for this purpose we're gonna go into baron i'm gonna show you guys the combo now if you nibiru's it doesn't matter all the sword soul play is at the moment is just to play around hand traps play around interruptions going second and look at our hand we don't care if our sword soul play stopped that's the idea of this deck that doesn't matter what hand trap what at what point he stops us if you want to stop the moye if you want to stop the shisha the baron we don't give we don't care we just play pendulums at that point so here what we're going to do i mean there's just so many lines of play that we can possibly do into oracle of zephra into a zephrath and then we pen call the Zephyrath. This just thins out our deck slightly. And then we're going to search harmonizing. And now I'm going to do a kind of a big brain here play for you guys here. You also have to realize you only have four cards to summon from. So what we're going to do. So you have harmonizing. You also want to think of uh, what's going to be your low scale. So here we're going to get a low scale of white wing magician. So we're going to get a white wing magician to be our low scale. And I'll discuss the ratios of each magician and why you play each. The deck's truly insane. So we're going to scale the, the Zephyrath. We're going to scale the White Wing. And then we're going to use Zephyrath effect. I mean, you should probably use Zephyrath first. Just in case he has a double hand trap combination of like Ghost Ogre and another card. Uh, it goes pretty deep at that point. So we're going to put that there. So we're going to scale the White Wing. And then we're going to Pendulum Summon. So we're going to summon out a Zephyr Nui. We're going to summon another Zephyr Nui and a Harmonizing Magician. All right, so we're going to Pendulum these three. We're going to activate the effect of Harmonizing the Channeling 2. Zephyr Nui is Channeling 1. Searching Zephyr Nui and Special Summoning Celestial Magician. And then from this point, we're going to take the Harmonizing and the Zephyr Nui on, in those two zones. And we're going to bring out Needle Fiber. Needle Fiber, I think, is one of the most underrated. It's already so broken, but it's one of the most underrated cards simply because of its second effect that no one realizes. Uh, the second effect is just absolutely absurd. We're going to do a Needle Fiber and summon Adhara. In this scenario, we have Col uh, Despot 01 in the in the deck if we absolutely need it, but we're not going to. Something else to note, if you want to hand up the Harmonizing, White Wing could have stopped it. Uh, we're going to now Synchro uh, the Zephyr Nui and the Adhara. We're going to put these into Yazi. We are then going to use Baron Defort to pop the Yazi to bring out Taye. We are now going to uh, Taye. We're going to banish the Moye that we had in the graveyard uh that we began with i took it out to make it easier so we're going to banish that to summon out a token and then we're going to use adhara because there's a token on the field to banish the adhara to bring the moye back to our hand so now we have a moye in hand and then we're going to take the taye and the token and we're going to make those into dragite we're going to use the effect of taye to send another moye from the deck to the graveyard and now we have a water engraved for a dragite i i'm a pendulum player i love the spell trap negates and now we're going to pass on this regard and my opponent is gonna have to deal with these four negates, but actually a lot more. There's actually six interruptions. So we're gonna do at this point is we're going to, the second he activates one card, we're gonna activate the effect of Needle Fiber to banish. And then we're gonna bring out one of the most underrated cards that literally no one talks about, and that's Desert Locust. So now Desert Locust, what that's gonna do is force my opponent to discard a card. This is like a free Omega. Uh, so uh, at this point, my opponent is gonna have to deal with one, two, three, four negates, but he's gonna have to lose a card. So that makes that five interruptions. And then the Desert Locust, and the Celestial Magician uh, is then going to Synchro Summon themselves into a Cheng Ying, which Cheng Ying in this format resolves every single time without any other card effect. But now we also have uh, when Shisha resolves, you could vanish. When he attempts to pop a Zephyrath, we could protect and vanish, etc. So this is six solid, solid, solid negates and interruptions that just destroys our opponent. And that's the idea of this deck, utilizing the second effect of Needle Fiber to get so many interruptions out. So even, uh, this could be Satellite Warrior as well. I just don't own a Satellite Warrior. Satellite Warrior would have been like a billion kajillion interruptions. So I think this deck is just truly absurd. And this is the combo that I'm taking to locals for the last few uh, locals as well as the next few locals coming up. And I'll be doing a deck profile on this deck. Uh, if you guys like what you see, make sure to smash the subscribe button, smash the like button. This deck's truly beautiful. And let me know what deck you guys want to see next. I want to give another shout out to my boy Harris for his birthday. It was a blast vlogging uh, his party and having a great time at his party. Shout out to everyone there as well. Shout out to you guys, the greatest fucking community in the planet. And if you guys want to add this playmat to your collection, make sure to check it out on tripgaming.com. 
while supplies last. Also, if you guys want to learn how to do cool combos like this, check out the Patreon, where I learn comp teach you combos like this, as well as Master Duel combos for all my Master Duel lovers out there. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. See you guys in the next video. Peace!